The most popular sport for guys was football. Everyone took pride in supporting their local high school football teams every Friday night. Although for high school girls, basketball was quickly becoming a popular sport for them to play. For example, in Iowa, girls' basketball playoff tickets sold more than the guys. Although a lot of them still enjoyed sports that weren't as popular like cheerleading and softball. All sports in the 1950s included baseball, golfing, boxing, football, basketball, wrestling, and NASCAR. Although during this time, baseball was the most popular sport. The increasing popularity of televisions helped the sport to excel. One of the most popular baseball teams were the Yankees, who dominated the decade. In the 1950s, they made it to the World Series eight times and were able to win six of the eight games. Another thing baseball was able to do was bring people of different races together to play sports. In 1955, Elston Howard became the first African-American man to play for the New York Yankees baseball team. He played catcher and won the American League MVP award. Following right behind baseball was boxing. Boxing was very popular in urban, low-class neighborhoods. Boxers back then were seen as the ultimate athlete, although no one was ever able to live up to Joe the Brown Bomber's reputation. Joe was considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight champions during this time due his, to his success in the ring. The post-war period during the 1950s indicated a growing demand for luxury items that weren't as popular during the war. Cars were one of them. The 50s were a huge turning point in the motor industry. Many famous brands we know today, such as Ferrari, Mercedes-Benz, Chevrolet, and Ford have all made breakthroughs with the young population in America. By the end of the decade, the motor industry in America flourished. In the year 1950 alone, upwards of 8 million automobiles were produced. Many of those getting a part of this action were none other than the teenagers. Fast cars and tricked out hot rods were a favorite among them. Chevrolet Corvettes and Ford Thunderbirds were two cars that were no stranger to the teenagers of this era. Hardtop convertibles were the model to have. At the age of just 16, teens could get their license and drive, which gave them a taste of freedom and independence. With this newfound freedom, many teens' ideas of recreational activities changed. Now they focused on the drive rather than the destination, and cruising became very popular. The 1950s were an important decade for both teens and cars. Songs such as White Sports Coat and Blue Suede Shoes were influencing the ways that teens were wanting to dress like. However, during the 1950s, the department stores ignored them, and they were expected to dress like their older counterparts. Fashion designers sold full skirts and stiff petticoats or a super slim skirt and sweater with bows. Tight-fitting pedal pushers or capri pants were popular leisure wear and jeans, which in the 1950s were called dungarees. Young men wore a shirt, tie, and sharply pressed slacks. If you were the rebellious type, however, you wore dark clothes all the time. Refused to iron anything, and you were just generally looking rough on purpose. People definitely dressed up special for formal events. For weddings and proms, young women wore fancy dresses like their elders, but clothing choices were quite a bit different for informal school dances. Many teen girls preferred full skirts, some with four-inch hems. These skirts were often made of wool, felt fabric, and bright colors, including the world-famous poodle skirt. The 1950s circle skirts were worn with tucked in tight fitting blouses. It was usually tied together with a wide belt, flat heeled shoes, and bobby socks or anklets. After the end of World War II and the beginning of the baby boom, the 1950s saw a dramatic increase in the amount and variety of toys for children. Girls' options were somewhat limited to kitchen sets, baby dolls, or fashion dolls, while boys ran from building sets, cowboys in space travel, and other imaginative play toys. Among cowboys and space travel, boys also like to play with lithograph tin cars, friction cars, die cast cars, trucks, and farming equipment. Besides the kitchen sets and the baby dolls, the girls also like to play with rocking horses, building toys like Tinker Toys, and Barbie dolls. It's also to be mentioned that TVs had not taken over the world yet. Towards the end of the 1950s, it shifted to family affairs. A record number of board games were introduced. They were scientifically planned to encourage primary grade youngsters, teenagers, and adults to join for a competitive, fun time. 
During the 1950s, African Americans migrated to urban cities, putting them in close proximities to whites. Being so close to one another would cause an overlap in their worlds, creating rock and roll. The rise of rock and roll would create many historical musicians such as Elvis Presley, Fat Domino, Chuck Berry, and Little Richie. Furthermore, rock and roll would influence many social groups and people such as teenagers. Teenagers of the 1950s thought of rock and roll as their world, as a music related to high school sweethearts, wild parties, and fast cars. Soon, rock and roll would develop the generation's image and style, leading to unacceptable behavior and to the teen rebels we know from the 50s today.